Welcome to another GNU Cash Quick Start Tutorial. I'm Laura from the BusyBeePost.com and in this tutorial we will be reconciling the GNU Cash checking account. If you like my tutorials and you find them helpful, please subscribe. Let's begin. Reconciling your account simply means you are matching the income and expense transactions you entered into GNU Cash against your business banking checking account for accuracy, which is very important that everything you enter into GNU Cash balances with your banking statement. Double checking your records against your bank account transactions each month will give you a better understanding of your transactions such as uncashed checks and undeposited amounts owed to you from third parties. GNU Cash can help you catch any discrepancies between your GNU Cash business transactions data and your business banking account monthly statements. This will assure everything is in balance giving you less stress when it's time to do your taxes. The most important thing before you begin reconciling your banking account against the GNU Cash checking account is to make sure the GNU Cash checking account is selected by clicking on it to highlight it indicating this is the account you are reconciling. Because if you don't, you may end up trying to reconcile the wrong account and wondering why you don't see your checking account transactions. To begin, select from the menu bar Actions and when the menu bar opens, select Reconcile. Here on the Reconcile dialog box, the statement date is the present date. And if you notice the ending balance is the same ending balance as shown here in the GNU Cash checking account. Select the statement date as shown on your business checking account by clicking on the drop down arrow to bring up the calendar and select the date of the business checking account statement you are reconciling. In this example, I'm in the month of August and I want to reconcile my business checking account for the month of July. My business checking account statement is dated August 1st, so I will select August 1st as my statement date. The starting balance field cannot be edited. It displays the balance from the previous reconciliation. It should match the starting balance in your statement, but sometimes the opening balance does not match and will show a zero balance. This can happen the first time you reconcile your account or where the previous reconciled transaction is reconciled or deleted. The ending balance now shows the ending from the end of the previous month, which in my example is the ending of July, July 31st. The ending balance was $202. Next, you can choose whether you want to have the sub accounts included. I prefer to leave the default settings, the box unchecked. Next, you have the option of entering interest payments. Some checking accounts receive interest payments. If you have an interest bearing checking account, not everyone will, but if you happen to be one of the lucky ones, you can enter that information here so that it will be included when you reconcile your account. This way, everything will balance. Select OK when you are finished editing. As you can see, the reconcile windows are used to reconcile a GNU Cash account with a statement that a bank or another institution has sent you. Not only to double check your records against those of your bank, but also to get a better idea of outstanding transactions, uncashed checks. The two panes here are called funds in and funds out and list all the unreconciled transactions that belongs to the account that is going to be reconciled. On the bottom of each pane, you have a zero balance because nothing has been reconciled as yet. On the lower bottom of the screen, I can see the statement date I'm reconciling and that I'm starting with the account ending balance of $202. And the difference amount is the same as the ending balance amount and we have a zero reconciled balance since nothing has been reconciled. The next step is to check all the transactions that match 
the transactions as seen on your business checking account statement. In my example, I will check off my deposit transactions for the month of July. At the bottom of the selected pane, you can see that as I checked off each amount, it's keeping track of the sum total amount of the transactions. And now that I've finished, at the lower bottom of the screen, the ending balance and the reconcile balance has the same amount. And the difference as shown here has a zero dollar amount difference, which means this account is in balance. Now all that is left to do is to select the reconcile tab on the toolbar above and then the finish tab to record the changes and close out.